you too. Another fabulous sunset in the sand dunes. Oh, but look how lightweight we are. No tubes tonight. Hmm, what's happening? Tonight we're doing a video about how to roll your own tube. Music. So here's what we have. It's very lightweight, super small, and we're gonna show like a really simple kit and we're gonna play with that, only with that tonight. <laughs> but I don't need to, to use that tube. I have so many, I have access to all the, all the tubes, all the colors. Basically we're looking for another way for people who can't have access to tube or and that want to uh, to have some DIY solutions. And that's also a good option for traveling. As you can see, it's very small. This is 20 inches large by 48. 48 is about the same as my usual tubes. So we're going to unroll it and roll it on the other side. It's gonna take one second. So we simply use the same elastic to solidify both ends. So try to roll it to have a di diameter similar to your flashlight. So you have a nice grip. Mm -hmm. Looks very bright. Yeah. It's a good start. Yeah. Uh, we never tried it, so. Yeah, it's a, it's a first. <laughs> <laughs> it, it should work. Um, do you have the cloth? Yeah. So we, ha we have those two pieces of of uh, fabric, one black and one white, that we can either uh, put on top and put an elastic. So this is to bounce back the light when you're using the white one. And if you simply want to, to block the light to avoid that line on the ground, then you can use the black one. And black you... one. Yeah, so you can either stuff it yeah, or we could put an elastic. Put it inside. Yeah, it's gonna be the same. Okay. So quickly, we, for tonight, we have birthday sparklers. So, so this elastic. one, you, you use two elastics and you simply squeeze the this, this sparkler. My elastic is pretty tight. Okay. You insert the sparkler and make sure it's solid so it's not going to fall. There you go. Yep. Okay, and, and then same principle with the feather. Yep. So our feather is taped to a zip tie. This is how we, we add that little gap between the tube and the feather. So as you can see, the light is going out of the tube, hitting the feather. That's going to create an orange line on top of the tube. Yeah, and I think that's it for the toys. Well, we have some... Um, pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners, yeah. Which is going to do something very similar. Yeah. Okay, we're running late again, so... Let's try it. Okay, <laughs> go. Okay, that worked. A bit more flimsy. The results are about 
the same. It's not as bright as, as the milky white that we're usually starting the night with. But with the, with the moon, it was just great. Uh, it was easy to put a feather. It worked really well with a mm -hmm. feather. Uh, I had just one color, not used to that, but it was okay. It was kind of forced us to, uh, to do different mixes. We had to tie it a few times if you are to use that. Like, you need a really strong elastic, probably. Or, mm -hmm. um, and we also tried to make it wider and to put two, um, two flashlights. Two flashlights, one on strobe, uh, just to go back to our early day experiments. Mm. So yeah, I think overall it's a good DIY option, uh, very lightweight. Uh, that can fit in a bag for to travel with. Mm -hmm. Eric was saying that if we were to leave on a backpack trip uh, somewhere where we can't have a bag full of tubes, we would probably leave with that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So the next thing is going to be uh, to put some colors inside this tube. We're going to work on that video very soon. Okay, let's, let's leave. Go.